and welcome to today's video, which is a book review for the novel Lark Ascending by Silas House. This was recommended to me by One for the Books, so I will link her channel down below and try to find the video where she was discussing this book. This is an adult dystopic novel about a young man who's a refugee from America seeking asylum in Ireland. When he was a young boy in America, fires started breaking out across the world, which, which created food shortages. Religious fundamentalists took over in America, forcing his family to flee further north, eventually into Canada, and then across the ocean to Ireland seeking refuge, seeking safety, seeking food. By the time they get to Ireland, he's the only one left. He's on his own and trying to survive in this what is essentially an apocalyptic world by himself. I gave this four stars. I thought this was a really wonderful novel. I love the world that House created. It's such a dynamic world with so much depth and so much intrigue. And my favorite part about the world is that this is not a dystopic novel that's about the dystopic society. This is very much a character journey of this boy, of his grief, of his pain, of his courage and strength. And it's his story. And all of the world and all of the information about the world is largely background information. It informs upon his story, but the world isn't the focus of this book. Lark is. And I thought it was so well done. I thought it was beautifully written in that regard. Like when you write a story like this when it is about the character and the world is so interesting and so well crafted. I think it's wonderful writing when you can capture the world while sharing so little about it. Like it's he spends so little time in America in this book but you still like get the concept of what it's like. You can still follow why he felt like his family had to flee, why it was unsafe for them. Like you get kind of the full picture of it without necessarily needing all of the details. I thought that was well done. I did kind of wish there was a little bit more of the world just because it was so interesting and so well crafted. Like I liked it being background but I do think it could have been a little bit more of the background. Like just add in a few more details here and there. I would have liked to know more. Like it was the kind of book where like it didn't really need it but I felt like I was left wanting it. So kind of like a mixed bag there, but it was so well done. Like, I love when they like create this world that isn't an active character on its own. It's just, it is the background, it is the scenery, and it's still so well developed. I kind of had similar thoughts on the characters because the characters were wonderful. There weren't that many of them in the book, like characters that you really got to know that were like speaking roles, because it is largely about Lark and it is largely about him being alone and not having too many people supporting him, you get to know some of his family along the way and you get to know a woman that he meets who kind of helps him once he's on his own in Ireland. But apart from that, they're really the only characters of the book and they're all so interesting. They're such well-developed people and I really love that Despite not having that much background information on them, you learn bits and pieces of things. You don't get like fully in-depth backstories. I still felt like I knew them as people. Like the way House wrote this book, I didn't need their full backstories in order to understand who they were and what they wanted and their motivations. It just wasn't necessary to the story. Like sure, I would have loved to know their full backstories. I would have loved like all the little details. It would have been fun. But I didn't need that because I still knew who they were and that was so well done. Like that is gorgeous writing like right there. That's like masterful writing in order to like capture these people without needing to go fully in depth on their background and like all the details about their lives. I thought that was wonderful. This was such a short quick read for me. Like I read it in a single morning. I didn't want to put it down. Like I just kind of read it straight through because I was just devouring this book. I'd sit there for like five minutes and then I swear it'd be 80 pages later and I was like entirely engrossed. I was so interested in Lark. I, I desperately wanted to know his story, like what had happened in the past, what was happening in the future. I wanted to know more information that was like shared so sparingly that like every detail felt like a gem that we got. Like I love the way Silas House chose the details to share in this book because there isn't much like this book is more like about concepts which I'll talk about in a little bit but like he shares details so sparingly that it's like 
you just grasp on to like the little bits of information that he does give you and they have so much more meaning because of that and it's so just like masterfully done like he's a fantastic writer for being able to capture that for being able to share so little information and still create this fully developed world this fully developed cast of characters like I just there were so many little things that stuck out to me in this book like when Lark was on the boat going from America to Ireland he talked about people dying on the boat and just like describe the sound that their bodies made hitting the water like the splash that their corpses made after they passed away like it just stood out like it was something that had such power the way it was shared and then occasionally you would get like really detailed information like you would get this tidbit about like a village that had been fully slaughtered and he would say something like well today we all know what happened in this massacre and not like fully explain it throughout the book so you just kind of use context clues to, like fill it in as best as possible and I loved that it was it was so well done like just the way he crafted like the concepts of this world and like the way he shared the information like it's so hard to do that in a way that feels well because normally I'm like craving more information all the time and I was in this book but I also felt very satisfied with what I was given. One thing I kind of struggled with was the writing style. It's told in the far future. Like it's told when Lark is an old man looking back on his past and his youth and looking back on what happened when he was 20. So it's written in the pres present tense but most of the book is past tense because he's saying this was what I did. This was where we went. This was what I thought at this time. So it is past tense, but you get that kind of like interjection of the elderly version of him and like kind of his thoughts or his judgments on the situation. And they always felt very jarring to me. I don't really like when books do that because I do very much like to feel in the moment. I like to feel like I'm with the characters. And when you write like this, it does create a distance for me. And I don't feel that immediate pain. I don't feel that immediate connection. It makes it a whole lot harder. So I did struggle with that. It's just not something I'm really a fan of in books. I also did feel like it was a little bit too short. Like this is, this was never going to be the kind of book that was like a really lengthy, involved, in-depth exploration of this world. It's a character study of one young man at one point in his life and that's all you're going to get. But I do feel like it could have been fleshed out just a little bit more like it's only about 270 pages and I do feel like it could have been like 300 or so just to like add a little more and give the characters a little more time a little more depth a little more meaning to everything they did because it did feel like there were some very traumatic moments that went by very very quickly and I would have liked for that to be slowed down more and then for my final point I wanted to talk about just the themes of this book like this book was very much more focused on themes and concepts and like ideas of what they were going through than it was like a literal story that you were following like the quote at the top here says that this book felt almost like a prayer and Silas House has described this as a meditation on grief and I really felt that like this does not feel like a very plot driven book and in some ways it doesn't even feel like a character driven book it feels like a theme driven book like it's so much about humanity and the ideas of like grief and hope and love and strength in a lot of ways you're really just following what it means to be human and what it means to suffer and what it means to kind of overcome that and continue living your life and it was very emotional in those ways but I do feel like for me I need a little bit more than that from a book like I did wish there was just a little bit more story than there were just themes because I think it was wonderful I think it was wonderfully done I think he captured the feelings that he wanted to capture I think it was very successful in what it was trying to do just a wonderfully crafted novel but I do feel like for me I needed something a little bit more than that like I like those concepts within perhaps just a little bit more structured of a story like I just feel like it was just one step shy of what would have made it the perfect book for me but I did think it was beautifully done like regardless like maybe not like the perfect book for me but so wonderful and so gorgeous to read and so emotive and 
wonderful. I don't know. That's the word I keep going back to because it was. It was such a worthwhile read and one that I would highly, highly recommend you pick up if it sounds like something you would be interested in because it was just so well crafted. Such a great story. Um, Silas House has prior to this written what it appears is a lot of realistic fiction about living in Appalachia, which honestly sounds more my general vibe than this book is. So I'm very interested to try more of his work. I also feel like it might have more of a concrete story than this book is. So I hope that he becomes an author that I really love because I do feel like I could. Let me know down below if you've read Lark Ascending and what you thought of it if you have. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all again soon.